Welcome to Intuition Matters Unveiled. I am you. This is the psychic hot seat. And I seem to always be in the freaking hot seat. It's teasery. Okay, so first I wanted to talk about the another trap. Traps are the things that we think are, um, you know, going to get us what we need. And instead they, they create more trouble. For example, last week I talked about, um, maybe it wasn't when I was on the air, but it was when I talked about um, when we use our woundology to get love. When we come from trauma and um, we we try to create connection with people, we usually tell them how much we're suffering, how much we're struggling, what's wrong, instead of what's right, what's working, what's exciting in our lives. And so that is because in our past, that was really the only thing that got us love. And the problem is, is that what we focus on, we create more of, right? So we're, we're constantly bringing our energy into the victim. And uh, here's another snag to that level is a victim always needs a perpetrator of if an overgiver always needs a taker and the universe is always seeking balance. So if you are um, overgiving to get love, giving to get love, giving to feel safe or giving to get validation, it's a setup because you're not meant to get love through those channels. And so you'll draw in takers who won't give you love and you will um, not get the validation that you're desiring. And it has to start at home. Uh, what's happening outside of you is a feedback loop of what's going on inside of you. And so if you're getting um, treated badly, are you uh, criticizing yourself? Are you, do you have a harsh inner critic? Are you a whip master for yourself? Is nothing ever good enough? And here we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am in techno hell. Um, hopefully uh, this is uh, broadcasting now. Let's see if um, check restream. Okay, hold on. We, we uh, went live in a private group. Um, I have a private group called the Breath of Life Pranic Breathing Practice. And if I don't hit the right button on uh, my, my uh, streaming software, it takes me to the last video I did. And the last video I did was in uh, the Breath of Life group. In YouTube, you are. Okay, so. It sounds like Yoda. In YouTube, you are. <laughs> okay. And, um, and in the private group, so Carl, uh, he may not hear this, but when you uh, get done checking Facebook, Will you post the pranic breathing practice? Um, oh, I thought I brought the book over here this time. The pranic breathing practice private group. Um, I do live broadcasts on Monday and Wednesday, and there is a library of 155 uh, videos to listen to every you know on the other days. Um, and so I was broadcasting to that group by accident. And I was just sharing how uh, I was talking to another friend about technical difficulties. And whenever I go live in that group, no matter how perfectly set up I am, because I need to do three screens, I need to get hit certain things on YouTube, I need to have certain things pulled up on one screen, another one live, mute it, all these things. And no matter how set up I am properly, uh, Facebook finds a way to get even more creative. And um, so I'm often not seeing comments and things like that. So I'm going to, I'm not getting a response. Okay. Hearts Love Joe is on. Hey, I know I'm in YouTube then. Thank you, sweetheart. Beautiful necklace. This is like a combination of three things. An earring. That's flipping. What is going on here? Just walk away. Everything's technical difficulties today. I think I'm in my own private um, 
Mercury in retrograde. I was talking to another friend of mine, and he was saying that the exact same thing. It's still not playing in Facebook. Huh. I am you. Let's see if I can... Uh, for God's sakes, guys. And then I had Zoom on, and it was competing with the camera. And ah, la, 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 la. All right, I'm going to try to get on Facebook. Okay, so I was talking about technical difficulties, and actually I was talking about victim victimizer. And um, I'm going to just pop in here. One of my friends was trying to tell me where I was broadcasting. And now... La 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 Okay. All right, let's just see. When Carl saw it, he thought it was oh that was something else. Okay, so um Don if Facebook isn't playing, please go to YouTube. Okay, I'm done screwing around. This is Carl's job now. Um, sorry, guys. Let's see if I can see me. <sighs> Creating posts now. Okay, thank you. And I appreciate you immensely, Carl. It's just you guys, you know, People make it look easy what they're doing on YouTube and Facebook and doing lives and doing multi streams. And, you know, we sit back and criticize if their hair looks stupid, <laughs> <laughs> which mine does most of the time. Uh, thank you to the sea flu and thank you to the stress from my brother's passing a number of years ago. And it has not ever quite restored. Okay, yeah, so I am not live on uh, Facebook. Um, but you can watch last week's on Facebook. <laughs> so, victim victimizer. Close all. Thank you very much. And uh, when I went live in my private group, when I was supposed to be live in my public group, I was talking about the trap of the victim. Last week we talked about how woundology is a trap because it ends up, um, woundology has us focusing on our wounds, trying to get love because that's what got us love when we were uh, children. But using our wounds to get us love now is just going to get us perpetrators. So while I am uh, dealing with technical difficulties, I'll also remind you that these times, even though it might be like our own personal Mercury in retrograde, that it's also super uh, stressful times. We're getting all kinds of solar flares. We're having all kinds of sh activity, activity everywhere and energetic and um, interdimensional and all kinds of stuff. So radical self-care is what um, I'm recommending. And one of the things that I, I always, always, always recommend is adrenal support. And if you're not willing to go to a naturopath to do it right and get a saliva test and get um, on your own team like that, uh, get the book Adrenal Fatigue and, by James L. Wilson, and then get this product uh, I don't know if you can read it. It might be backwards. Oceans Alive, raw phytoplankton, because that's a really wonderful uh, nutrient to add to your day to help support your adrenals. And um, another really wonderful brand is Paradise. Uh, I don't know if you can read this, but it's kind of what it looks like. Um, Paradise and get like the... Um, vitamin B complex. B complex is our stress vitamins. And the more support you can provide yourself, the more present you're going to be, the less uh, you're going to be uh, tilting because of deficiencies and, 
You'll be able to be more consciously present to make choices and to make conscious thought, you know, think, con <laughs> maybe I better just do a dry shot of that. I'm just going to take a moment while I unhinge from my technical difficulties. Okay, so I'm going to pop on to uh, Ecamm Live because everything I plan on talking about is like ping, ping, ping. So the next trap of the victim perpetrator is that um, when we claim a partner from our victimhood, chances are super high that we are going to draw in a perpetrator because the universe always seeks balance. And a victim always calls in a perpetrator. Another thing that happens in that similar pattern is victims also tend to be codependent. They tend to overgive trying to get love. And the overgiver draws in the taker. And the taker often is a narcissist or a victim narcissist, which is in the borderline personality disorder family. Uh, also con artists, uh, addicts and um, opportunists. So overgiving seems like the, the Christian thing to do. It seems like the loving thing to do. It seems like uh, the way to get your needs met, but it's a trap. It's a trap. And there was some other things I wanted to talk about with that trap. Um, oh. So... Oftentimes when we are uh, feeling victimized, we, we lose it and we get rageful. Um, know that when you get rageful, you're opening portals for dark energies to come in and play. Um, not to say that we don't want to be um, venting our energies, but make sure you're going to set up a, an energetic container for yourself to keep you safe, to keep you uh, in the flow of what you're releasing gets transmuted and it isn't calling in more playmates on the etheric realm to mess with you. <laughs> so, and if you are feeling messed with, I do um, trauma clearing. I also do entity clearings, uh, inner and outer and space. I can do it remotely. I can do it all remotely. So, uh, when Carl is back, maybe he can uh, post uh, the services page. So um, I'm going to uh, pop over. Joe, if you got a question, sweetie, pop it in. I will be uh, going over to the Facebook Lives. Let's start with this. Okay, my daughter is feeling lost. Oh, uh, a breakup. Uh, is she better off without the boyfriend? And what's next for her? So hold on just a second. So I'm going to try to get... I'm going to look. So let's get in heart space. Let's get in gratitude. I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful that Hearts Love Joe is here. I'm grateful that Carl is here. I'm grateful that um, Dawn let me know that the um, we were broadcasting to the private group. And um, I don't know what's happening with Facebook, probably because we missed the start time. Um, but um, thank you for the team effort to get us in the right place. And um, it's, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood in uh, Colorado. So let's see. Is she better off without him? That's a no. Okay, so my name, I did my test and my test is wrong. So hold on. So what I'm doing is I'm writing my energies. Uh, Jimmy Mack taught that uh, sunflower at your head, roots at your feet. When your energies flip, the roots are at your head, the sunflowers at your feet. So I do this 
Qigong kind of move where I move the sunflower head back to the top. All right, so let's try this again. She's better off without him. Oh, that's a no. Uh, will there be a reunion? I do get that there'll be a reunion. Will that happen in days, weeks, months? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, two, three. Three months down the road. Might have to be some trauma clearing work to get past some raw emotions around that. Um, and so I would say that at this time, your daughter uh, would be best served to do a thing like uh, the mirror work by Louise Hay book. It's a three day journey of self love of connecting with yourself and of um, cultivating a committed relationship with your inner child and your adult self. Um, so back to that victim conversation, we need to restore divine order in our lives. We need to be our own number one. All others are um, number like 1.5 or two. Uh, and we need to be super self-loving first. It's not selfish because when we make others first, we're being selfless and then we're putting it out to the universe that we are less. And, um, and often in that position, we don't even have a self. We don't even know who we are, what we want, what our dreams are, what our favorite color is, what our favorite restaurant is. You say, where do you want to go? I don't care. Where do you want to go? So if you're one of those, and if you say sorry, every other word, like I do, let's, uh, let's, uh, revamp that and, um, start being super mindful about our um, words we're using. Um, I have a note here to remind myself that all these readings um, have just as much merit for the people that aren't asking them as they do for the people who are asking them. So don't get bored and think that this is uh, not um, for you because it is just as much for you as anyone else. Um, so is it in her highest good to study in Bali with you? No. Uh, what are her gifts? What are her gifts? She has people skills. She's artistic. Um, is that with voice? Is that with thoughts? Is that with creation? Is she nature? Nature, creation... Uh, like painting, drawing, art, some kind of art, clothing, could be art on clothing. I'm seeing sequins or glitter, like um, being creative, like creating some bohemian kinds of cool, fun stuff on jeans or on uh, shirts or jackets or uh, jewelry, not jewelry, clothing gets a yes. Um Creativity is a gift and people. Uh, is she a coach? Is she a counselor? Uh, I would say right now she's an artist. Um, uh, and if something else presents, we'll revisit that. Do I still have heart wells? Yes, you do. Um, so I would get the emotion code book. Um, it's by Bradley Nelson, and there's a chart you can find online, the emotion code, um, without getting the book. He's even got the emotion code uh, posted in a PDF format somewhere. If you find his videos on YouTube, you can find um, a PDF version of his book and the chart. It's, um, yeah, I don't have it here. That's the emotion code chart. And then you can muscle test to see if you have uh, trapped emotions and then you discern where on the chart your trapped emotions are. And then if I had my, my book over here, I would do it for you. Um, okay. So I can, I can test for you. Does she have trapped emotions? Yes. Is it column A, column B? So it's, write this down. 
Column B, trapped emotions. Is it odd? Is it even? Is it two? Is it four? Is it six? So it's column B, row two, and and work with all of the emotions in that. And what you do is you take your hand on your forehead and bring it back over to the back of your head. It's even better if you have a magnet, like a refrigerator magnet. And um, if someone else is doing it for you, they do it all the way down to your tailbone. But you can do it just to the back of your head. And then I have people take a deep breath and release and just set the intention I'm releasing these trapped emotions times a godzillion fold. Um, you can also test to see if it is um, family lineage or current life. I'm getting current life. So that would be three repetitions if you were doing it a little more to protocol. Um, am I in my ascension path? Yes, you are. You can't help it, babe. You can't help it. We all are. Um, you definitely are proactively engaging in material that will assist you, support you, light your way. Um, yeah, don't worry about getting it wrong. Just, you know, whatever gets your attention, whatever lights up for you, whatever you're really, you know, drawn to know more, know more, know more. Um, just be careful about scintillation and wanting to learn about the dark side because that's a trap um good lord like i have had so many uh distractions of going down those kinds of trails to learn and uh you just kind of get your ass handed to you um am i am is it all going according to divine plan yeah sweetheart you're doing really good on a scale of one to ten how well is she doing? Is she doing better than a five, a six, a seven, an eight, a nine, nine and a half? You're doing a nine and a half. I would say you're right on track. Thank you for dropping in questions, sweetie. Much love. Um, am I moving forward? Am I healing? Uh, any other mess? Let's see if there was another one. Okay. Yeah. I, I missed like the most important one. Um, I feel I've met a soulmate today named adrian is it romantic let's find out hold on okay i'm testing myself and then um is adrian a romantic connection for her not romantic uh was it ever romantic in a past life yeah gets a yes in a past life um i'm seeing kind of night night uh armor uh, so medieval time period uh, was was Adrian in the armor? Yes. And you're kind of Guinevere looking. Um, will I see him again? I get a yes. Um, uh, but no, it's as friends. Know that that other the other vibe is from past life and um, uh, was, does Adrian have the capacity to be a good friend? And that's a yes. And so, yeah, look forward to seeing him again. Um, am I moving forward in my healing? Let's find out. I'm getting a yes on that. Um, is she progressing um, since following the last message I sent? I'm getting a yes on that. Well, the one before that, I'm getting a yes on that. And um, uh, any other messages? So mostly the message is don't waver on that other message that I sent you. That was super pure. That just really came as a download for you. And um, take it seriously. So um, keep working with that material because that will really, 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 really help you. Okay, so someone is sharing that they've been experiencing psychological abuse from their twin flame. Now know that that is actually um, super common. And, um, and the most powerful thing a twin flame can do in a psychologically abusive situation is to treat it like any other relationship that's being psychologically abusive. So have massively strong, healthy limits and boundaries, 
get therapy, and if it's appropriate, get out of the relationship. Okay, those are your options. Get help for you, focus on you, have healthy, strong limits and boundaries, and take good care of you. Oh, who's this? We got the osprey flying around. Messenger, where's your big fish? This osprey is so cool. It catches tr full trouts and then flies around with them like a, like Led Zeppelin. It's pretty funny. <laughs> and that baby ate that whole fish one day like a great blue heron. It was huge. Unbelievable. My neighbor goes, that baby's going to pop. <laughs> okay, well... such a shame it's kind of want to play and I just screwed up that whole question so I can't even answer it all right where are we okay all I'm seeing is Joe's comment and no question Joe do you got a question my friend and I can't uh I have to go over to YouTube because maybe Ecamm's not working because I'm not seeing any comments. I'm not seeing any posts. I'm not seeing anything. And I know that there are. Carl told me he was posting. So I know that there are and I'm just not seeing it. And so more tech fun. Okay, so I'm going to just talk about tech aggravation and um, a couple of other forms of aggravation. So I shared with a friend... Oh, is it the friend shared with me? Somebody, how did I get a hold of that? Somebody shared a post with me that was kind of ascension oriented or something. And I wanted to share it with another friend. And when I did, the other friend said um, that as they read it, it felt like there was something off in it. And there had been a little something off when I was reading it too. But as I read it, and what was it? Was it talking about solar fl the fla solar flash coming, things like that? And um, I literally got hot, super hot, my head. But it was like down to here, like a, a curve scoop cape to here. And then in the same in the back, kind of like a deep sea helmet. It was pleasant. I muscle tested. I got that it was positive. Um, and yet I've had all kinds of tech hell ever since. And so I am uh, trying to get to my channel. And um, so l let's see, because I can't even tell if I can get a straight answer out of myself. Um, I've done a clearing since then. So am I being affected by the helmet? No. Was the helmet a positive? I get a yes. Uh, truth, was that helmet a positive? That gets a no. So when you put truth before something, it kind of forces it to uh, be an accurate answer. And um, so maybe nobody should. Oh, oh, uh oh. Maybe we shouldn't listen to anything I have to say tonight. <laughs> So I'm going to just look at comments, see if you can hear me. All right, here we go. Beautiful necklace. Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, so Carl's posting the pranic breathing. Found my way here. Hi, Dawn. Welcome, sweetie. And uh, Carl's posting adrenal fatigue. My mom wanted to ask if she had a twin flame. Okay, so first off, I just acknowledged that I've got issues. So let's do a clearing right now. Ha! I'm going to, I got a, a little crystal family sitting in front of me right now. So I'm going to take this crystal and I'm going to put it in my hands. And it fits so nicely in my hands. It's like super cool. So I'm going to ask assistance of this crystal, the crystal kingdom. They have superpower consciousness. They've got, you know, power from um, Atlantis and elsewhere and other things. And so going to amplify our intentions with this crystal. And so let's put, let's activate our heart center. 
And let's drop a quart of light down into the heart of Mother Earth. And this actually was something I wanted to talk about with all the tech hell. That, um, wow, that screen looks really blurry. Maybe that'll get better. Um, all the tech hell. And it could be because I have influence. Influences happening. So from this place, we are activating our heart center. And we are grounding into the heart of the earth. And we're also grounding into the heavens. And we're going to ask, when I go to the heavens, I always say the original creator of all that is, or the creator of all that is. And that's to make sure I'm going to the highest creator. Because <laughs> there's layers. And so we are um, asking heaven and earth to unite at my heart center and to unite at your heart center. And we're asking that the this energy amplifies our ability to clear. We're going to set a tornado of light to spin counterclockwise around us. The counterclockwise is to demagnetize our field. And so from this place, we're going to ask that. And the, the tornado of light is prana. It is... Um, higher consciousness, God's love, life force energy. And with its consciousness, we can ask it to uh, assist us. So we're asking that all that we choose to release be released and transmuted at the center of the greater central sun. And I'm also going to ask that, um, that this crystal assist the God spark clearing me fully and completely clearing you fully and completely. Now the God spark is, uh, I picture it as a super brilliant, super condensed, uh, spark of light at our heart center, but it doesn't have to be at your heart center. It can just be at your core and it's what animates your physical vessel with consciousness. It's the, the fragment of the divine that you are, your individuated, uh, aspect of the divine. And so superpower and we explode that God spark out and it's like uh, everlasting. So when you explode it out, it remains still at your heart center, but it explodes out in this amazing, brilliant light. And we're exploding out and clearing from us all other and all other is any chemistry, any implants, any frequencies, any uh, overlays, any uh, distortions, any any messing with us on any level by any form, frequencies, essence, or being. And uh, because we're working with the matrix, I'm just going to set the intention that if this is infringement, that uh, we are annihilating all uh, involved in this implant or overlay or whatever. And we'll do the same for you guys. We're just going to activate annihilation of these energies that are messing with us because we're annihilating the matrix program of them. So we're doing that now. So explode from your heart center. The God spark explodes out and it clears your field and the tornado whisks it away to the greater central sun to be transmuted. And this intention is being amplified by the crystal. And so you can just explode it out again and 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 again. And you can say through all dimensions, time, space, realities, all forms, frequencies, and essences. <sighs> and you can keep doing it until you feel uh, your energy cleared. And then you can flow uh, pure source energy through you, God's love, goddess love. Uh, creator love, your soul's pure essence, flow that in and fill up all the spaces and places that have been taken up by any uh, etheric technology, any implants, any messing with us on any level, any influence that is uh, manipulative or nefarious on in any form. All right. Blessed be. Thank you so much. It is so and so it is. Um, let me just uh, do a quick true. I have to do more than that. Okay. So I'm going to ask, uh, did the advice I gave earlier, was the advice I gave earlier uh, a miss? No. Okay. So truth was the advice I gave earlier a miss. No. Okay. So look at, what do we got here? Question. My mom wanted to ask if she had a twin flame. No, I got that last time too. 
um, you, she has a twin flame. The twin flame just has not incarnated on the planet. And so know that uh, any relationship that she has that is like a uh, meant to be love relationship um, is going to be just as powerful as a twin flame relationship and probably without a whole lot of the uh, ride and emotional challenge like you're experiencing. So guys, don't be yearning for your twin flame to be here. Um, and my sister, and does her friend still love her? Okay, so my sister, is your sister's twin flame on the planet? No, I think I answered that last week, honey. Um, and does her friend still love her? Yes, friend still loves her. Is that friend who loves her uh, in her highest and greatest good for a long-term romantic partner and mate? No. Is that friend who loves her best as a friend? That gets a yes. Um, so um, I think I answered last time when mom's love was coming in. I think I answered the sisters. And if not, go ahead and ask. And then Carl did drop in the link for the uh, phytoplankton to help support your adrenals. It's also got really great, you know, trace minerals. And um, I can't read it. <laughs> God, like, come on, you guys, like, who can read that, right? Like, <laughs> okay, where else? Good God. All right. I had a healer who said my poles reverse, and it must be the sunflower thing. Yes. She couldn't read my body until she got my poles corrected. Yes. Um, those can also be referred to as strange flows. Uh, sing, is it singular gurus? Jai gurus? Um, Donna Eden of, she wrote the book Energy Medicine. I want to get that posted too on my site. Uh, Energy Medicine is a really great book. Um, to learn about meridians. Um, but Donna Eden uh, also talks about uh, keeping your energy running direct. And um, basically, share you're super sensitive. You're an empath. You're hyper aware. And you've been in fight or flight most of your life. And so we get really good at all the cues, at all the information, at all layers and levels of information to keep us safe. And so, um, yeah, I would say that that um, sunflower exercise and I, Carl may have already. Um, oh, look at you. You got the emotion code. Carl, if you can post that Jimmy Mack video again for reversing energies. Um all right. All right. Let's see what else. Let's see. That's it. You tracked it. That's information. All right. All right. So. Dawn, thank you for uh, heading me up on what was happening in the in the Facebook realm. And so what happens is, is one if, when if I go live in the wrong place. Then when I try to go live in the right place on Facebook, it's like I missed my um, appointment and I don't get to go live. <laughs> I'm in Facebook purgatory. Okay, let's just see this. Um... All right. Okay, guys, ask me some questions because I'm I'm going. It's been a rough, a r little rough r ride here. <laughs> Good Lord. Oh, no. I don't know what the oh, no is about. Okay. Was my twin flame sending me love energy today? Yes, I do get a yes on that. And is he getting ready to express his feelings towards me or should I tell him my feelings? 
uh, tell him your feelings gets a yes. Wait for him to express his feelings to you. And um, is he ready? Getting Is he getting ready? He is. Is he ready? He's not ready yet. But he's get, is he closer? Yes. Is it within days, weeks, months? One, two, two months. Was it three months last time? Ah, uh, thank you, T-Bells. Oh, I know what that's from. <laughs> Thanks for getting me, girl. Okay, running energies direct. Look at you, Carl. You're a rock star. I feel like tomorrow is a big day. I've been waiting. Ooh, let's see. Tomorrow, big day. Oh, I can pull cards for you guys. Tomorrow is a good day. Is this the day she's been waiting for? Ooh, that could say yes. Big day. Big day. Yes. Let's draw that in. Let's amplify that. I'm going to pull a card on that. Willingness. I bet you're pretty willing. <laughs> so is it, what is this? Is it a willingness to drop a price? No, don't go there. All right. So willingness somehow, and I'm not feeling very psychic. <laughs> No, don't text him your feelings. I said no, not to tell him your feelings. Wait for him, honey pie. You wait for him. Hope he's okay. And do you know which parent is treating him mean? Okay, is it mom? It looks like dad. Amplify. Yeah, let's amplify the party tomorrow for uh, T Bells. And. So revel in that energy he's sending you, and you're just going to have to love that, receive that, uh, learn to um, be fed by that, feed yourself in the meantime, full cup, full cup, full cup, and then uh, that'll help him come around faster too. All right, let's see. I'm having a hard time getting to the bottom of this feed. Um, so let me pull a card for Hearts Love Joe. Purification. Sometimes that means tears. Um, so you might need a cry to just get these longing emotions out of you that you've been waiting and waiting. I'm going to look up willingness for T-Bells. See if there's some other hidden message in that. You always have the power of choice in all situations. So uh, claim your power. Hang on to your power. That's just, you know. Uh, take conscious and deliberate action to create a positive attitude. Go within, connect with your higher self, allow the universe to show you what is needed to move to the next step. Willingness to be open at the edge of the unknown. will invite natural wisdom into situations and reveal new directions. Okay, that's what it is. Willingness to be open at the edge of the unknown will invite natural wisdom into situations and reveal new directions. Ooh, that sounds so mystical. I like that. All right, so play in those fields. I just messed up my book. All right, another level of this. Let's just play in uh, being laughing at my uh, calamities. Am I creating these? I am. Is this from my bad attitude? No. Is this from being a little scrambled? Yes. Okay. So let's pull one for reverse poles. Ah, universal angel heart. So share. This is about full winged mature angel. And this is the you you've been claiming um, each step of the way as you're embodying more and more of your power, your soul's pure essence, your awareness of your value, your abilities, your gifts. And um, so that, yeah, that's a superpower. It's the, it's the major arcana of the universal cards. So, um, yeah, it's a really good one. So expect good things to come from this uh, chapter uh, you're stepping into. Um, mysteries revealed. 
claims her rightful place and owns her full power. So do that. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, feel yourself wrapped in the wings of unconditional love. Good girl. All right, let's pull one for who else? Got Dawn. Hi, Shelly. How are you? Or Shaylee? Uh, if you got a question, ask now. We got four minutes and I'm out of here, if not sooner. <laughs> That's been a rough, rough roll. This girl's kind of uh, stumbling along tonight. All right. So the one who was asking about Adrian. Rejuvenation. So continue that work we talked about. And the one who asked about her daughter, imagination. So, you know, see yourself feeling, being, doing your power, your ascension, you know, like you don't have to be ascended to claim who you are. And you already are claiming who you are. You already taste it, stand in it, do it. Um, just do it more often. Yes. Good girl. All right. And you can also imagine heart walls coming down. Use the God spark. Use the intention. Um, that kind of thing. So heart walls, fortresses, and fending off programs. All right. And then the one whose question I uh, screwed up, that, that card is power. Claim your power. So any abusive relationship, I don't care if it's a twin flame or not, uh, you don't deserve to be abused. And you, you are the only one who can uh, keep you safe. So you are the one who needs to be clear about what works for you, what doesn't work for you. And if it's not working for you, remove yourself either completely or temporarily from the situation and uh, the more you have healthy limits and boundaries the more they'll um, either recognize that the behavior is not going to fly anymore or um, they'll only uh, get a brief time to mess with you <laughs> before you say see ya uh, so there there's that all right what else Anybody else? I'm popping back on. See if we got questions. Okay. Why did he ghost me? Oh, you know that ghosting thing. I'd like to I'd like to do some juju on ghosters. <laughs> that is so immature, ghosting. Unless it's a stalker thing, you know, where you gotta protect yourself. That's just immature. So why did he ghost me? Let's find out. So first I'm going to ask, is there somebody else? No. Is he afraid? Yes. Is he afraid of his feelings for you? Yes. Did that uh, short circuit him? Yes. Is he in shame? No. So uh, he's ghosting you because he's overwhelmed by his feelings. He doesn't have the ability to process them. I'm asking if this is a twin flame relationship. I'm getting a yes. Uh, twin flame means same soul fabric and they can be very, very turbulent relationships because they're growth edge relationships. They're meant to bring forth like his ghosting you is bringing forth you healing your abandonment issues. Oh, we have hung out three times, pleasant every time. So hurt and confused. Wow. Shaley, Shaley, you should book a session, honey. Let's get to the root of that and let's shatter that program. Let's get to the root of that and shatter that for you. But his, is this your person? I think he's going to come back around. So you're going to come around in days, weeks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. Six weeks from now, he might come back around. Um... You know, it's kind of like... Uh, if somebody's not ready to settle down yet and they know that the person that they met is someone that is a meaningful relationship, so they don't know how to handle it so that they, so they just kind of don't. 
And that seems like it's what's happening with that one, sweetie. So I'm at MaureenKeefe.com if you want to book a session. Um, there's in all prior videos, there's some something mentioned about twin flames. So you can read about that. Uh, but yeah, we can get to the root of this ghosting pattern. Yeah, yeah, it's not you. It's him, his emotions, inability to deal with his emotions, uh, easily overwhelmed, uh, not good at communicating his feelings. And uh, okay, so there's nothing wrong with you, except there's some uh, trauma pattern from your past that we need to clear up. So is it trauma pattern? It is. Is it, um, is it family lineage? It is not. Is it all this lifetime? It is. So we're, if you, if you reach out to me, we can get to the root of that and break through this problem pattern you got going on. All right. Thank you for stopping in, sweetie. Uh, if, don't make yourself wrong though. Um, nothing wrong with you, precious girl. I promise. It's just a, an energetic pattern and it's happening so that you can learn more about energy. So you can learn more um, about you, that you can uh, engage in deeper self-love, um, self-respect, uh, nurture your inner child. Yeah, I get it. I, I get it. So book a session. I promise I'll help you. It'd be really good. If anybody here uh, has had a session with me and been helped, drop in, uh, let her know that I can help her. Um, you know, if you felt that I helped you. Ah, oh, looking at daisies. Thank you for the daisies, Joe. Um, oh, and let's pull a card for Shally. Purification for you too, girl. So that's, you know, let yourself cry. Purge negative thoughts. Purge beating yourself. Purge the the abusive inner critic because this is not you it's just um it's a it's like a rites of passage initiation and so we're gonna if you if you want to we can get to the bottom of that and then you can uh create a whole new future experience in the now all right guys i'm pulling the trigger on today it it Sadly, I, I look so darn good. Got a crappy camera. It's not uh, focusing well. And uh, I was apparently not focusing very well either. Aww. Okay, girl. MaureenKeith.com services page. You can even book just a 30-minute session if money is a challenge. And we will get you in a much, much better place, I promise. Yeah. And and so you have to not make it about you because it's not about you. Okay. So hear that. Hear that and be super tender with you right now. And don't make you wrong for this. Okay. Come find me. All right. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for popping questions in. Thank you for putting up with my technical difficulties. And um, if you get anything out of these Facebook uh, counseling sessions and readings, we have a donation opportunity on the blog page, book a session, um, Join Breath of Life group. Uh, join Intuition Matters Unveiled. Like, love, subscribe. Please uh, give a thumbs up to any of my videos you watch. That helps me. Please subscribe. Get friends to subscribe. Because uh, I'm kind of hamstrung with my reach and my able to monetize. And uh, it just makes it challenging in a lot of courts. But um, so if we can get uh, get your welcome, sweetheart, um, if we can uh, if we can get a little more reach, then uh, the party will really get started. OK, guys, much, much love. Thank you for joining me. And uh, this is Maureen Keefe of Intuition Matters Unveiled. I am you. May your journey be blessed in all ways. Until next time. Make it a good one. Celebrate the miracle that you are. 
And this is Venado by Canal. Thank you, Kurt Bauman, for permission to use it.